Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Dog Simulator and we are here with Zed, our brand new German Shepherd. And he is a good old boy who has spent his life trying to take care of the dogs of the inner city. Once upon a time he was a police dog, but unfortunately his owner was lost to the threads of time and now he does his best to uphold justice all on his own. And he has begun to realize that at times that means turning against the humans who have actually tried to um really uh oh am i about to get in a fight with a cat <laughs> But Zed has come to realize that at times he must turn against the humans who once gave him a home, especially after an experience with extremely bad owners and bad people. And now, the dream that he has is to be able to take down- that's right Zed, oh he looks so noble right there- but the dream that he has is to be able to take down the evil dog catcher. So we are going to be starting off with a brand new breed of dog here in Ultimate Dog Simulator from Gluten Free Games. We have been busy playing as Fawn, our Great Dane, for quite some while, but we are going to be spending some time with Zed, our German Shepherd now. And apparently one of the big bosses you can actually fight is the evil dog catcher, so I would love to be able to fight against the evil dog catcher. Also, is there a tornado coming? For real? Like there are tornadoes in this game. Zed, let's get you, let's get Zed into like shelter really quickly because there are tornadoes that come through pretty often. And apparently right behind Zed should be some sort of shelter. So why don't we go ahead, maybe his owner was lost because of a tornado? That seems to be the implications here. Oh my goodness. And it was like we had a really cool cat friend for a second. Uh, we found a new dog fact, which is really cool. But we're gonna get out of here because this definitely looks like tornado season if you ask me. <laughs> Zed, what a dramatic start. Maybe his owner was lost to a tornado trying to do like a search and rescue because he was a cop. Uh, trying to do like a search and rescue and save somebody. And that's what happened to Zed's owner. That's how he was lost. Can I just get in this building? How do we get in this building? I think this is a den. So I definitely wanna get in there. Oh, what's this? What's this? It's a frog. I got an achievement somehow. Okay, we'll look into that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and eat and let's figure out how you can get inside of this building because I'm pretty sure this building is supposed to be... Whoa. Is this building supposed to be one of the dens? Because it is really cool. I totally want Zed to have like a rundown building as his den. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a den. I just need to figure out how to get inside of it because it's really cool. Isn't this awesome? So Zed's owner, we're gonna say lost to a tornado. Maybe we have to come this way? Oh no, what just hurt me? What the heck? A snake, a venomous snake, danger noodle. Danger noodle, Zed, come on, buddy. Come on, oh my gosh, what a hard life this guy has to live already. I can't believe we just had a danger noodle show up out of nowhere. What is still attacking us? What on earth? Was, was it, oh my gosh, what the heck? Why, why? Zed, why? Zed, run for it. Oh my goodness, he found a nest of snakes. This is the most dramatic. I Like Fawn just kind of wandered a neighborhood and was able to find like a nice safe home to be in. And then she bumped into another great day, no problem. Zed, first thing you do is try to find safety from a tornado. And he runs into a nest of danger noodles, of venomous snakes that try to go ahead and eat him. Just trying to get into an abandoned building that we could call our own den. Oh my gosh, talk about chaos. Can I get into it from this side? Like, I'm really perplexed. Because it says that should be a den. Oh, here we go. I bet you can get into it from this side. Okay, and then you can get in. <gasps> this is so cool! Zed, yeah, look at your tail wag. I think that this is so awesome. It's an old jail. How amazing is this as a den? Oh my goodness. I love it. I absolutely love it. For a former police dog, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, and you can have all of these little jail cells. Which, which room is going to be? Yes, okay, so this upper room, I think would be like considered our home. So, oh my goodness. This is really dramatic. Can I jump down from up here? Cause Zed's, I'm sure he's trained in like, like agility. 
There we go. This is so cool, guys. I can't believe. First thing we do is get ourselves attacked by danger noodles. And then the next thing we do, what the heck? Oh, no way. There's a basement. Oh my gosh, is it? In the supply of water. You're ready for the zombie apocalypse. We just need to like shore up the, uh, the upstairs a little bit. Look at this. He can be a water dog and play down here. This is awesome! Man, Fawn doesn't know what she's missing by being lazy and only staying in her own little neighborhood. What the heck? Where does this go? Does it lead out somewhere else? Oh my gosh, that is so cool, guys. Okay, and then I don't think we can get out that way. Can I not get out of the, the room from here? I mean, the door is wide open. I should be able to go out. Come on! Come on. Okay, okay. Apparently I can't get out of the room from here. That's fine. It's It can be a little bit glitchy. Who knows? Maybe it smells weird. Alright, so let's try to find our way back out. <laughs> but that was totally awesome. I did not expect that. I did not expect to find a abandoned jail. I did not expect to have Zed almost leap through the door. <laughs> He's just leaping right through the rooftop there. Uh, I did not expect to have him run in away from a tornado and into a bunch of venomous snakes. That was pretty cool. And let's wiggle right outside. And there we go. So the world is now our oyster. Oyster, even. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so excited. And uh, it looks like we're awful close to where that devious dog catcher might happen to be. We need to find his scent. I think that maybe Zed had a companion dog of his own. And uh, she or he was lost when that dog catcher, the evil dog catcher, came and caught our dog. So we're going to say that he has to avenge avenge the fallen member of his pack possibly add to his pack if we're lucky to find another german shepherd let's go ahead have to kind of peck away at some of these squirrels there's a skunk what kind of self-respecting dog could possibly resist chasing a skunk i ask you i don't think zed could really count himself among them and then we'll try to level up because those boss battles can actually be pretty intense. And if we lose Zed... Oh, there's another skunk. I imagine maybe he just really loves strong smells. <laughs> so he definitely wants to chase down this skunk too. But if we lose Zed to the dog catcher, then we would say that Zed's story is over. As you guys know, I really love... Oh, that skunk ran straight up a cliff. Okay, you know what? You win. You win, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, we have a we have a good spot to dig over here <laughs> But I I really love making these ultimate simulators even more exciting and fun for myself By being able to give little stories, which is what you guys are also here for I see it in the comments You love the stories and one of the ways I really challenge myself to make the story more dramatic Is if our animal ends up dying through some means we take on a fight. We just can't win then that's that and we have to move on to a new dog so i'm really hoping we'll be able to stay with zed long enough for him to avenge himself and to take down the evil dog catcher but if we try to throw ourselves at the dog catcher too early there is a big chance that we could actually end up doing more harm than good come on raccoon come on raccoon ah dang it all right we're out of energy and we have to wait to get the energy back to fight the raccoon again Oh my gosh, there's a fleet of raccoons. Like, what do you call it? Like a, a burglary of raccoons? I guess as a German Shepherd, uh, he definitely would want to take out trash pandas now that I think about it. All right, let's try to, let's try because you're breaking in, breaking in and stealing people's trash. We can't have any of that. I definitely need to make him a little bit faster if we want to be able to do this. Okay, so let's see. Can I add to his dexterity would be speed yeah all right we gave him a little bit more dexterity so he should be look at that taunting just laying there come back here no he's headed for the hills ah oh, that one got away too all right well maybe we'll be able to find something a little bit easier for zed to be able to eat oh and the fireflies are coming out wonderful 
But I like this old boy, guys. I like this old boy, and I'm really excited to try to follow his story for as long as we can. And don't worry if you are wondering about what what's going to happen to Fawn, what's going to happen to Dane Stone. We will be jumping back and forth between the different dogs for quite a while, just kind of whenever I feel like shifting it up a little bit. We'll kind of move from one dog to the next, and we'll also kind of use each dog to explore different areas. So after Zed, ooh, there's a ton of things to be able to hunt over there. After, and there is a branch that just flew through the air. I feel like this is a tornado prone area to be completely honest. <laughs> but after Zed has finished really kind of exploring this area and we're ready to start exploring some of the other areas on the map, uh, like say we're ready to start exploring um, the wilds, then we will switch to a different dog. Oh, look, there's Fawn. That's so cool. I don't want to have to fight the Great Danes. So let's come see if we can... Rawr! I want to fight something. Get over here. We're going to try to get these crows. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. No, Fawn! Dang it. All right. We're going to we're gonna pretend this isn't Fawn because it's not. But I was really hoping we could get away with not having to fight the Great Dane. Oh, well. Experience is experience at this point. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. There we go. But yeah, once we're done exploring this area, then we shall go back to Fawn and Dane Stone. And we'll see if they're ready to be able to have their puppy, which I'm really looking forward to. And there you go, Zed. All right, so he's leveling up. I really love that his den is actually an old jail. And I think our next goal will definitely have to be making sure we can explore this city area, see what it happens to have. We already found one of the biggest secrets that I'm super excited about with having an endless supply of water. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, too bad the cars don't fly in this neighborhood. Was I ever wrong? That's a doozy. That's a doozy. You know, sometimes they'll just kind of do a wheelie in, uh, they'll just do a little bit of a wheelie in, in Fawn and Stone's neighborhood. But that little thing down there apparently is equipped with jet engines because it just landed from the sky and then hit that woman. You need to lose your license, sir. Whoever is driving that, like, they, they deserve to lose their license. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. But all right, guys, we'll be back with Zed and we will explore these city streets. I kind of want to see where that car is going for a second. And maybe we'll be able to find a German Shepherd. If we can, that would be absolutely amazing. I think that we could have such a tale. Ooh, what is that? A dumpster! That's even better than finding a tale of romance with another German Shepherd, if you ask me. Come here, food. Thank you very much. We'll raid the dumpsters. We'll learn what it takes to be a rough, tough dog trying to fight for the protection of other dogs in this city. Hey, come here. Come here, floating piece of ham. I'm going to eat you now. All right, come, come, get over here. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll see if we can end up having puppies with some of these dogs. Oh, there's so much food over here. It's a bounty, absolute wonderful bounty. Oh my gosh, that ham just fell from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this. I absolutely love this. It maybe maybe somebody who's driving a car up there in the sky, getting ready to just fly down. <laughs> maybe they dropped it for all we know. That's so funny. But yes, uh, we'll continue our adventures, my friends. And for those of you who have had or have German Shepherds, do speak up. I had a German Shepherd for quite a while. I was her foster mom. She was actually related to some of the top police dogs in the Kansas City metro area. Her brothers have gone on to win awards for their service uh, as police dogs. And I have always been super impressed and really proud that I was able to help out with uh, raising and taking care of a young police dog before she was officially ready to go and do her hardcore training. I don't think she ended up becoming a police police dog, but she is part of that bloodline. So I, I, I really loved her. It was definitely a lot of work though. If you guys want a nice lay around the house dog, don't get a German Shepherd. <laughs> you definitely want to be able to get maybe a Great Dane. <laughs> But all right, Zed is doing really well. We're going to have to start patrolling the streets and trying to figure out what's what and where's what's this? Oh my gosh, food. Come on. It's another area to sleep. Oh, so cool. So we have found another another den. 
We've activated this for now, but I do think we actually need to get ourselves back over to the jail. That's the perfect place for Zed. And we'll see if we can scout out where the evil dog catcher is next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.